Hi, my name is Larry. This is my channel on <clears throat> living with stage 4 metastatic prostate cancer. Today is April 11th, 2023. And just thought I'd give you a, <clears throat> an update on my, uh, my journal, my vlog. I've had a head and chest cold for the past 13 days, and I'm a little tired of it because it's prevented me from going to physical therapy all last week and I had to skip a, a mansion tour which I volunteer for I'm a docent and tour guide in a <clears throat> local mansion museum and it's just pretty much kept me out of the physical aspect of trying to stay better and that's frustrating uh, so I've been watching um, YouTube videos for other people who have cancer and uh, I'm going to share with you <clears throat> this one study I saw. It's, uh, there was a large national United States cancer registry-based study of 490,000 men with prostate cancer. Between, the study was done between the years of 1973 and 2008. <clears throat> so over those 35 years, 259,000 <clears throat> of those men passed away. They died. Here's the important statistic. Only 16% of those men with prostate cancer died from the disease of prostate cancer. So I'm beginning to see now why my one oncologist told me, don't worry about dying from uh, prostate cancer. You say, well, what does kill these guys? Among the deaths of those, those men, 70% died of, of something else, uh, which was the largest contributor is heart disease. So, the idea is to stay healthy, and uh, that's why I'm a little frustrated. I haven't been able to get out there. You know, I weighed myself this morning. I was 202 pounds. I was down to like 199. So I'm going backwards. Uh, I know, you know, it's a it's a big fight because I have no testosterone in my body. The Lupron is the injections I take are sucking it all out of my body, which is what it's supposed to do because that's what keeps the cancer, the prostate cancer, from growing. But it's a struggle to stay in shape. You know, it's it's shrinking my muscles. It's making me chubby. I I'm sure a lot of it's water weight. It just feels like it is around my stomach. And this chest and head cold is just preventing me. It just, I mean, it's bad enough to have Lupron making me tired, and now I've got this head and chest cold. But anyway, here's my plan. I got a plan. Always have a plan. <clears throat> I'm gonna start back walking again. I did. I did start physical therapy yesterday. Three sessions of that this week. So I'm gonna start walking again regularly. I'm going to start at one and a quarter miles and work my way up to three miles a day, at least five days a week. So at least, let's see, that would only be two and a half hours. I got to get to like four and a half hours a week. And then I'm going to combine that with weight training for my upper body because I got to do something for my arms and chest and shoulders. Physical therapy right now helps me with that, but I'm not going to be able to do physical therapy forever. It's probably going to end within the next few weeks here. Um, <clears throat> and then the diet. That's probably, I don't know if it's the most important part, but between diet and exercise, those are two extremely important things for me to get back into any kind of physical health. So I'm going to really try it. I've been cutting out the sugar, but now I'm going to try to cut the salt out now. I need a lot of protein. I'm going to up my protein intake. What's coming up next for me is, uh, let's see, April 17th, I have a visit with my radiation oncologist, Dr. Fiori Elite. It's always good to talk to him. He's my go-to guy. Then on May 10th, I have a colonoscopy. I'm not actually looking forward to that, but it's a necessary thing. I haven't had one in about five years or more. And then uh, on May 15th, I see uh, <clears throat> the neurology department. I'm going to see the uh, Derek Rockwell, the physician's assistant there, just to follow up on that uh, meningioma 
removal from my spinal cord and uh, you know of, of all the things I mean it sounds like it's really bad news like this is a bad report but no I do have some good news my feet and legs are do have more feeling the neuropathy is definitely reduced I I would I would guess that my right leg is probably got 75 percent of the feeling back that it lost and my left leg not anywhere near as good. I say 45 to 50 percent uh, of the feeling back on that leg. Uh, that leg gets tired quickly, but it has been improving. So I, I have high hopes for here if I can get out and exercise. Anyway, if you have stage four metastatic prostate cancer, stay in the game. Don't get discouraged like I'm sounding right now, but I'm not. I'm not discouraged. I'm coming back. I'm going to get back out there. The weather's changed up here in northeast Pennsylvania. We're getting some sunshine. We're getting some temperatures in the 60s and 70s. It was quite beautiful yesterday, and even this morning it was nice. I tried to take a walk, but um, I did take a short walk. It was pretty nice. I planned to walk across the bridge, but that didn't happen because they were, they were doing some... Some maintenance to the bridge, you're getting ready to paint it, so I kind of got, uh, had to shorten that up. Anyway, if you have some, if you have stage 4 metastatic cancer, stay in the game. Anyway, peace.